Hello everyone, welcome back to 3M channel. Now today we're back, you know, continuing your beloved series, Outer Legends of ESL, where basically, you know, showcase cars made in Soviet Union and during that time. Now today we're gonna talk about Gas 51A, which is a truck. Yeah, you get me right, it's, it's just a truck. By the mid-1930s, over several years of mass production, a simple and unpretentious Gas AA lorry, which is a li licensed copy of Ford AA truck of the 1927 type and produced in the United States of America until 1932, form formed the basis of the USSR car fleet. By this time, besides insufficient payload, the organic defects of the truck became particularly noticeable, for example like the low reliability of the frame, suspension, axle, driveline, steering, you get it. The design of the base car Gas 51 began in February 1937. The concept of the car was formulated very clearly, and clearly, a simple, reliable, universal truck. Made up of the best, well, at that time, at least, well-tested and world-proven units. <clears throat> the prototype of the final version of the truck with the Studebaker plumage was ready by May 1944. You know, with, it has closed round wings, so well-known later, appeared only in September of the same year, on the sec at least on the second sample. On June 19, 19, 1945, yeah, 1945, the first Gas 51 Zero series with a co solemn column entered through a through the Spassky Gate to the Kremlin, where they were shown by Stalin, Man of Steel himself. The first pilot batch of Gas 51 was manufactured in December 1945, and on January 6, 1946, the Corky Automobile plant produced the first production of a truck. Six months later, in June, the continuous assembly of Gas 51 has begun. In 1955, the car has under undergone modernization, and since that time, it was manufactured under the brand Gas 51A. The cars began to install a new body with three flaps that are like you know on the rear and on the side of the car, and the lower hinges with metal box section amplifiers. <coughs> The sideboards were supported at the top of by a long genital bar jutting out. In addition, Gas 51A received a drum type parking brake. The issue of Gas 51, 51 continued until April the second, nineteen seventy-five. This car was the most popular in the car. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, the country, Soviet Union, for all the years. Somewhere three million trucks and chass chassis were built including 11,000 at the Irkutsk car assembly plant. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I, I can't pronounce that. At least somewhere in 1950 and till 52. This car was so practical, reliable, and durable that even now it is still found at the roads. Anyway, let's get to the, I don't know, to the review of the car showcase. Again, I'm gonna compare... Bef be before I start, you know, the showcase of the car, you must understand that I'm reviewing as a toy, not as a huge, huge, you know, uh, as an engineer or, you know, mechanic of the cars. I'm just going to showcase as a toy. Anyway, here's Gas 51A. One thing I could tell about this car is that it is slightly more modern compared to Gas, I don't know, AA. Check out my other videos for that car if you want to see, you know, showcase and review. It is slightly more modern, at least for its time, somewhere around, no. 1950s, 60s, somewhere at the time. If if you don't know, turn the the tr truck. I don't know, to, you know, to the front or you know, to the side, like the side of this truck. I, I forgot what you call it. <laughs> you might see like you know an extra wheel, you know, just in case if you went into an accident or you had an accident on the road, which is really common in Soviet Union. Here's the little offload. Uh, I'll float, what do you call it? box section amplifier or something? I, I don't know what you call it. it. It's it's where you you know put your cargo again. I'm, I'm again I don't really know much about the dump trucks. Here's the the main body of of the car. Well, truck I should say. Again, it uses like what do you call it? the body body of Ford AA truck, lorry type truck, which is. You know, nothing special, to be honest. Here it has little headlamps. 
the the what do you call the the front. Also, it has the name gas in it. It also has the what do you call the the name plate, like what when it was bought and what year. So yeah, that's probably gonna wrap it up for, for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, if you enjoyed th if you actually enjoyed this video, you can check out mm, other content that we had about you know Auto Legends of USSR, other cars if you're in interested. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good time.